Hey guys, in this video, we're going to deep dive into the Ahrefs Site Explorer. I'm going to show you all of the great features Ahrefs has to offer. Stay tuned. So the Site Explorer is really the meat and potatoes of any SEO research software. So let's just dive right in. Let's look at Ahrefs.com. Let's be a bit ironic. Right away, you're going to see a lot of information. There's a whole lot going on here. Most of this is backlink information. Uh, but at the top, you can see uh, the monthly organic traffic, according to Ahrefs, uh, the number of referring domains, the DR, which it basically implies the quality of your backlinks, uh, the UR, which is the importance of this particular web page uh, to the overall website. So the home page obviously has a very high UR. And you'll see things like the Ahrefs rank, uh, which is a rank of all of the websites in their index uh, based on, the, on the qu their ability to rank. Their, a number of factors will affect your Ahrefs rank. Um, so just a quick note, the organic traffic you see here and the number of referring domains, it's not 100% accurate what tool really is because they're all limited by their crawling resources. But what I found is that Ahrefs is the most accurate when it comes to reporting backlinks and organic traffic for my website and competitors' websites. So I like to use Ahrefs, even though it's not exact, um, I still use it to get a general understanding of my competitors. So let's take a look at what we see in the backlink profile. Um, we're looking at the referring domains over time. That's the first thing that I like to look at. So if this is going up, typically that means that a website is getting SEO work done. And so I know what I'm working with. If this is flat or going down, that means that they, they're not having any SEO work done. They might be easier to outrank. Uh, so let's look at each one of these um, segments, and let's just talk about the important ones. CTLD's distribution is a very important one. This is going to tell you where the majority of their backlinks are coming from. It's really going to imply it. Anyone in the world can get a .com, but uh, only certain parts of the world are going to get one of these URLs below that. So this will give you an idea of where these backlinks are coming from. If you see a lot of .in backlinks, uh, then you know that that backlink is probably from a website that is hosted in India. Uh, so if your competitor has a lot of um, .in uh, links and they're a US company, then uh, you know that maybe their backlink profile is fairly um, low quality uh, because they're a United States company and their backlinks are from India. Uh, something is wrong there. They should be seeing dot, more dot .coms. Uh, uh, and another uh, sign of the quality of a backlink profile are the anchors. If you see anything other than the brand name and their website uh, then in the, in the first couple spots in the anchors, then typically that means that uh, there's some fishy backlink going on, backlink work going on, and the SEOs working at that company are backlinking to this website with their primary keyword, which is very spammy, and Google looks down on that these days. So uh, that is another sign that it's a poor backlink profile. So these are the kind of things that are useful. If I head over to the organic search tab, you can see the traffic over time. I can sort it by year, by 30 days, and uh, it is very helpful. You can see in the last 30 days, they've actually, they've actually gone down according to their own index by 200,000 visits so uh, well uh, per day on average by 200,000 visits uh, you can also see their organic keywords went down in the 11 to 100 range that's what's visible to me what I like to do is remove the 11 through 100 range because that is less telling in fact um, really the one that you want to pay attention to is the 1 through 3 if uh, the 4 through 10 is going up and the 1 through 3 is going down then uh, you'll likely see a correlation to their organic traffic. You'll see this plummet as the one through three begins to plummet as well. Uh, the other things you can see on the organic search tab are the top five organic keywords, the top five organic pages. And if you want to dive more in depth to organic keywords, you can click on this tab here and you can see all of them. And you can sort them by country. And there's a lot of great filters up here. But typically, you're just going to want to look at the top keywords to find out what is driving traffic to the site. Uh, the, 
the next Im important tab, obviously, is the top pages uh, that I mentioned earlier. Uh, so you're going to see what pages are driving traffic. You're going to see a lot of things being echoed between the organic keywords and the top pages report. Uh, those are the things that I like the most about the Site Explorer. Um, if you want to dive more in depth to your anchors, you can do that here. But a lot of this is uh, a bit of overkill by Ahrefs. I appreciate it. I, I like that they do this, but uh, it is, it is um, overkill in some regards, which is a good thing. So that is really it for the Site Explorer. The last thing you can look at is the Paid Search tab. Uh, there are a lot of uh, paid keywords you can look at. You can analyze your competitor's uh, advertising strategy this way. So Ahrefs is advertising a lot for SEO keywords, and that's driving 51% of their traffic uh, in their paid search traffic. And you can see their landing pages here. Um, for smaller websites that don't advertise that much, you're not going to see much data here. Let me show you an example. My website is much smaller. CorrectDigital.com. And I'm going to show you that really you don't get a lot of information. It says 12 traffic here. Um, I get a lot more than that, but I don't get much more than that. Uh, it's a very competitive niche that I'm in. So, uh, you know, this is, this is typically what you're going to see for a small website. Um, a lot less information, but let me show you the uh, paid search tab. Uh, it does show me some things, but it doesn't show me very much at all. I, I advertise for a lot more terms than this, and you can't see that here. Uh, also, if you go to organic keywords, uh, you're going to have to upgrade to see uh, certain positions. I have the light plan. If you have a higher end plan, uh, you're going to see these positions. They, they aren't very important, 21 through 100. It's not important, but uh, the keyword movement may interest you, so you may want to upgrade your plan if that's something that's important to you. Anyways, I hope you got something beneficial from this video. In my next video, I'm going to go over the Keywords Explorer. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks.